Well, today what I'm going to be doing is a deep pour experiment with the Tea Expert Epoxy Deep Pour Resin. Now, I've not done this before with a deep pour resin, so I don't know how it's going to work. So it'll be really interesting to know. Well, I've got two great moulds here. I've got my lobster mould and a new lizard mould that I haven't used yet before. So this ideal to be using it with. And I'm going to be using some glitter, some transparent colours, iron filings which i haven't used in resin for a long long time i did a video on it about three years ago on some of the great effects you can get with iron filings and magnets so without too much further ado let's get on with it now but before i pour this one with the magnets what i want to do is place my magnets down so that i know when i put my lizard on it then the magnets are going to be in the right place because if not these are quite strong magnets and I will link them in the description below don't worry what will happen is they'll just clip together so all I'm going to do is glue a line of my magnets onto there as you can see they're really strong look and that way they'll stay where they are I can easily remove them when I finish using them and they will not clip together they're so strong I can't hardly get them apart, look. Oh. Yeah, so that's ideal there. And then I can run this one across there and that one into the head there like that. And these are the magnets I use for making fridge magnets and things. They're really useful because they don't come off easily. Well, they're all glued on there nicely now and they're covering the whole area. The reason I'm using a deep cure resin is because it will slowly cure over about 48 to 72 hours. So it's liquid a lot longer and it will give more time for any effect to happen. So let's see. Now, deep pour resin or proper deep pour resin is always going to be in a two to one ratio. So two parts A to one part B. And I'm going to mix up 150. 50 part A, so that means I need 75 part B. And I mark that on my jug so that when I measure it out, I know exactly where to mix. So part A, part B. Well, now my resin's mixed up, what I'm going to do is the lizard one first. I'm going to be using a little drop of the white transparent pigment for this. I'm only putting four drops in to start with because I only want it to have a bit of colour. I don't want it to be too opaque in any way. Giving that a really good mix in. Yeah, that's giving me a nice colour. Just enough to colour that resin. Put the top on that. Because if not, I will knock it over. This is my iron filings. Now, you don't want too much of this in there. Well, I don't think you do anyway. Because it is quite heavy, so it is going to sink down a long way and now I'm going to give that a really good mix into there to try and get as much dispersed in there evenly as I can and pour that as quickly as I can so it doesn't fall back down so as you can see it is still mixed in there but those magnets are going to attract it fairly quickly and when I did this about three years ago I did it with coasters and it gave some beautiful effects it's quite an old video and my video skills were very poor at the time. So I will link it in the description below, but please don't um, hold out too much hope of it being a quality video because it isn't. But I was still learning. Well, I'm still learning now. I learn every single day. Long neck light and never a torch, don't forget, because we don't want to be burning this mould. Get rid of any of those bubbles that have come up. And we'll leave that to do its thing now for 48 hours or until it's cured. Sometimes it can take 72 hours, depending on your temperature in your room and all the other bits and pieces that are going on around you. I don't really want to waste that that's in there, so I'm going to pop that into something else. I'll pop that into a little coaster mould, like that, and then put my magnets underneath it and just see what happens, really. I'll just pop it on the board with three magnets spread out, and we can see what's happened. And for the lobster, I'm going to be using a red transparent pigment. And again, I will link it in the description, so don't worry. Making sure I give that a really good mix, because you don't want these to be streaky. Mm, a bit more in that, I think. A couple more bits. Now, I'm going to use a black glitter for this, because I think that's going to show up probably a lot more in the actual resin than if I use the white glitter. Give that a good mix in. There we are. That's all mixed in there. And then we can just pour that 
into here. Whoops, look, overpour in again. Let's scrape some of that overpour off so we've not got so much clean up to do. Shall I pour that in there as well? I think I should, don't you? We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll just see what happens. I'm going to give that a mix in as well so it's got that stuff everywhere. Right, so let's see what happens there. We'll leave that. I will go over them again in about half an hour with the long net lighter again just to get rid of any bubbles that may have come up and then I'm going to leave them now like I said for 48 hours. I just want to say a massive thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. Without you guys I really really would have a sad existence. Thank you so much for all your support and your kindness. We have a great group with lots of competitions and support and help and it's the friendliest group on Facebook. If you agree with that members Comment that in the bottom below because I believe it is. If you want to become a member, then the link for becoming a member and benefit from all the perks is in the description below. And while I'm on that, just a massive thank you as well to everyone that got me a coffee last month. You people really do allow me to keep buying stuff and doing these experiments and continuing with my resin channel. So, thank you very much indeed. Well, these have all cured now. They've been curing for just over 48 hours because it is a deep pour after all, let's not forget. So, it does need that 48 hours. This one from this side looks amazing. So, I'm really excited to see how well this has cured up and what sort of pattern we've got. Oh, I think that's come out really, really well. I like the subtlety of the colour that I put in. Or maybe I could have had it a little bit of a deeper red, but I didn't want to overpower. But I love the way that that glitter has had chance to completely fall down into there. So thank you, Julie, as well, my member, who suggested this to me and testing it and seeing how it goes. I think that one has come out awesome. But let's look at what's going to happen with the iron filings and the magnets. Take his little toddies out. And the magnets should have drawn those iron, iron filings right the way down and created a pattern. So let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. I'm loving how that has come out. Look at the different patterns that the iron filings cause in here. They look, actually, if I used more magnets, I'd have probably got more like scale effects as I've got here. That's really impressive. I'm so pleased with it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this new experiment of mine. I think they've come out absolutely amazing. I love the way that this one has come out, the lobster. Look how the way that colour plays in there against that black glitter. And again with the lizard, how that has come out. I think that has given it such a great result. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. I really like it. It's just something different to add to your resin techniques. Boot that like button, really helps my videos to get out there. Check out the video that's coming up next if you want to learn more about what is a really good seller. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.